Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. Um, if you're new, welcome. I film mostly luxury related videos and um, I do throw in a couple of random bits every now and then. So if you do enjoy watching luxury videos, I would appreciate it if you join my little YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button down below. And um, if you're not new, shout out to you, you're a real one. So today's video is going to be a good old fashioned comparison between two of my luxury SLGs. Um, when I did my SLG collection, um, I did kind of mention I was going to do this. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get right into the video. So the two items that I'm going to be comparing today are both Louis Vuitton SLGs. And if you can kind of hear, you already kind of know. So I'm going to be comparing my Louis Vuitton 6 key holder to my Louis Vuitton clay. As you can see, I have both in monogram. Um, I got this one first. I think I got this in 2018. I want to say like... May 2018 or April 2018 I don't remember and I've had this for a couple of months I got this in December last year right after Christmas but before the new year so I want to say like the last couple of days in December I got this one um so I've used this for almost I used this for almost two years straight because I had it from 2018 till almost 2020 um and I've used this straight since I got this so I haven't picked this up since December last year I've used just this one so I'm going to go into a little um, detail on both and then we're going to do the whole comparison part. So this one, as you can see, is the is in monogram and I got it in the, I think this is the Rose Ballerine interior. Um, as you can see, there is a little chip right here on my button just because I've used this a lot. Um, and this is what the inside looks like. I do have a random key. Actually, I don't even know what key this is. Why do I feel like this is the, yeah, no, anyway, I have a random key inside and then I have this, um, Espana thing that I think my friend got for me. She went to Spain and she got this for me. Um, so this is a six key holder. It does have a little, let me take out the key because this is pissing me off. Hold, please. So it should be a little less, even though I can't really control that, it should be a little less noisy. It does have like the little hidden pocket inside um that you can fit a couple of cards inside i don't really put too many cards inside at least when i used to use it i didn't put that many cards inside just because i wasn't trying to mess with the shape of it this is what the inside looks like it says louis vuitton made in france over here my camera is not focusing but it's louis vuitton made in france um so this is something that i just figured out i don't remember whose video i was watching I cannot remember for the life of me, but I was just watching someone's YouTube video. It might be Minx. I think it was Minx for All, Minnie from Minx for All, one of her MMQAs, I think the last one. Um, and she did show that this top part slides out. Hold on, I hope I don't break it. But it literally just, yep, it slides out like that. So if you wanted to take out like the rings, if you wanted to make it like a four ring or whatever, I guess depending on how many keys you have or how many things you want to put inside, you can take this out. I did not know that. So thank you, Minnie, for sharing. Um, and this is what it looks like. So mine is a little worn. I mean, I've had this for over two years and I did get this pre-loved. I'm not sure if I mentioned that um, just because the rose, the the uh, six key and monogram with the Rose Ballerine interior is discontinued. And I think they discontinued it for, oh, okay, okay, okay. I have all the rings falling off. Um, and I think they, by the time I got into this, they had already discontinued it. So I got it from Poshmark. Um, I don't remember exactly how much I got it for because I bought two items. Um, crap, how do I do this? Okay, hold please, one more time. So anyway, yeah, um, I'm putting the rings back because they fell off. But yeah, if you wanted to take the rings out, it's a lot easier. I didn't know you could do this. I didn't even know you could take the rings out. But um, yeah, that's good to know. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to focus because my camera is kind of shit. Um, but it's there's a lot of discoloration on this, um, especially on like the part that kind of clips into this part. Does that make sense? Um, there's discoloration on that. Okay, so that's back on. Um, so if you didn't know that, you can take that out if you wanted to take out the rings and just to like customize it to however many keys that you have. Um, I've never done that before. I just realized it not too long ago that you can do that. So from what I know, this comes in monogram and it comes with like the brown interior, which is called Ar Armanac. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. And it also comes with the fuchsia. So like I said, the rose ballerine interior is discontinued. They don't make that anymore. Um, I'll, put, I'll put up like a little clip on the screen. It comes in Damier Ebene. Um, and I think the Damier Ebene's inside is black. 
if I'm right. And it also comes in Damier Azor. Um, and I think the Damier Azor interior is like the regular Damier Azor interior, which is like a cream or like an off-white type color. And then it comes in leather. I think it comes in epi leather and it comes in umbra leather. Um, and I only see it in black. I only see the umbra in black and I don't know. Actually, I lied. So the umbra comes in black and like a denim, like a dark navy blue type color. And then the epi, I only see it in black. I could be wrong. There could be many more colors, but from what I see on the Louis Vuitton site, that's all I see. So now moving on to the Louis Vuitton clay, I have mine in monogram as well. Um, quick backstory, I feel like if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I got this in Damier Azor last year. Yeah, so I want to say January last year I got this in Damier Azor um, because I was going to use it for business cards just because I had this. Um, but I had that for like two three months maybe ended up selling it just because i don't like the azor canvas at all um i don't I'm, I'm just not a fan of it um and this is originally what i wanted to get it in but it wasn't available and the azor or the ebean was available and i just figured i had a lot of stuff in ebean anyway yeah i had this in tamir azor last year and i ended up selling it just because i don't like that print or the canvas um so i ended up getting this in december last year again as you can see it's in monogram and this is what it looks like it has a zipper on the top and it's literally Literally just one open compartment in here and then you have like this chain thing that's attached to something over here and you have this I don't know if this is a D ring or if this is some sort of key ring I don't know what it is and all you have to do is just pull it up and you can put your keys inside um, yeah so again this is literally just one open compartment okay so from what I know this comes in monogram it comes in Damier Azor and it comes in Damier Bean as well and it also comes in leather I think it comes in umprint leather it comes in like a denim color again i'll put up like the i'm looking at my phone um i'll put up the little clip on the screen it comes in denim leather and it comes it's called marine rouge and then it comes in black now the umprint leather one is bigger and i think it's more expensive it might be like 400 and something dollars and i think this is like 215 um also this retails for 265 currently i think plus tax obviously and um the leather ones would be more expensive as well because you're paying for leather versus canvas and all that stuff measurement wise the length of this is 4.7 inches um the height is 2.8 inches and the width is 0 0.4 so again the length is 4.7 inches the height is 2.8 inches and the width is 0 0.4 inches for this one it just says the length and the height it doesn't really say the the width um so the length is 3.9 inches why am i doing this the length is 3.9 inches and the height is 2.8 inches it doesn't really say anything about the width it doesn't say how fat it is um but as you can see the six key is a little more chunky it's like hold on let me take this out of the way so the six key is a lot more bulky at least on this end just because of the plates that it's that are here um honestly even here too it's a lot more um chunky the clay however is the length of the clay is more than the length of the, so when I say length, I mean this. The length of the clay is more than the length of the six key holder. Um, but the six key holder seems to be taller. So as you can see right here, the six key sticking up at the top. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I use these and um, what I put inside and which one I prefer. I'm going to let you guys know all that at the end. So let's start with this because this is the OG one. Um, so as you saw, I had one key there before. I'll put that back in. Hold oh, please. Okay, so I put stuff in here. Um, this was how I used to carry it on a daily basis when I did use this. Um, just so you know, I have like a full review video of this on my channel i think i filmed that sometime last year i'm not sure exactly when but i'll link it up here i'll put it in the description box if you're interested um in seeing that so this is what it looks like so i have my key fob in here as you can see my key fob is you know quite chunky um i do have the little espana thing there i have my house key in there and then i have this random key that i still don't know where it's from i think it's from an old place but anyway, so this is how I would carry it. Now this slot is empty. Give me one second. Let me put two random cards inside. So I'm just going to put two cards inside to show you guys what it would look like with the cards inside. So it's a lot more bulky with the cards inside. This is what it looks like at the bottom. This is what it looks like at the top. 
this is what the side looks like um so my key fob is chunky and um i do have it on like this chain the silver chain thing just because it's easier to attach to the um to the rings if i don't move it up so if i leave it as is it's gonna stick at the bottom and i don't like that and it's i don't know i just don't like how that looks i think it's not on un professional i just think it's like a little weird i don't like how that looks at all um so what i usually do is i just slide it up which kind of makes it a lot more bulky um and i think that's one of the reasons why i like the clay better i'll get into that um a little later i just feel like this takes up a lot of space as you can see like it's really really chunky and i think it's because of my key fob i don't like how i know some people carry it like this but I just feel like it defeats the purpose of having like a key holder. I just feel like everything is supposed to be inside. I don't really like how this looks, um, even though it does make it like a lot slimmer. Um, and I mean, obviously it's my key fob because my key fob is like a lot chunky. Um, but let me take out the two cards because I put two cards because that's the max that I would ever put in there. This is what it looks like without the cards. Again, I only put two cards inside just because that's the max that I would put. I feel like it's already bulky enough with my key fob inside how I put it inside. Um, and the two cards would just be literally my my ID card, my driver's license, and a credit card. Um, I use my credit card more often just because I'm trying to get the points and then like I pay it back or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like without the cards. This is the bottom, this is the top, and then this is what the side looks like. It's still bulky, it's just not as bulky as before, but it's still um, significantly bulky. So I'm going to take stuff out of here and then put it in my clay and show you how I carry my clay. So hold oh, please. So I'm back. Um, I have things in my clay now. So the difference is I took this silver thing off of my key fob and I put it on my house key just because I like how that looks better when it's attached to this. And I just have my key fob inside. I have the same two credit cards and then I have some cash. I think I have like $2 inside. Um, and as you can see, this is like a lot less bulky than my six key holder, which is why I actually like it better, just because it takes up less space and um, you can't even tell that my key fob is inside. I mean, yeah, you really can't tell that my key fob is inside, but when it was in this, like it literally would stick out like this. And um, again, I'm always trying to maximize space just because majority of my bags are small and I don't need my keys taking up literally like half the space. I don't mind carrying this like this i don't mind this sticking out but when i am carrying one of my leather bags like i would carry like this in like the my louis vuitton canvas bags but if i'm using like any leather bag i can put this in like that and i mean it's bulky but it's still not like really bad it's distorted right now but it's not usually like that hold on okay so as you can see it's not distorted i just have to put it in like correctly and it's still not as bulky as my six key would be with my key fob inside and with everything inside and it just it takes up less space it's like easier it's just i don't know and i can fit a lot more cards in here than i can in this um i'm not i'm not gonna hate on this like i said because i use this for such a long time and it's still a great slg but i like this one better just because it's less bulky so this is what the bottom looks like this is what the top looks like this is the side like it's really still not as bulky as this um and i just feel like i don't need my keys taking literally half half of the space in my bag um i can put more cards inside which i have definitely done um so here's my key fob like i said i just took off the silver thing that was there before and i put it on my keys on my house key instead um so right now i have two cards inside and i do have like two dollars i think folded up inside and i can still put more cards inside i have a lot more cards inside um it is a little distorted but i feel like it's still not as bulky as my six key with just two cards inside even without the two cards i feel like it's still um not as bulky as that um but now i have a total of one two three four five so i have a total of So I have a total of four cards and my Metro card. So again, these are just cards that they're not like, I took out my debit and credit card just in my ID just cause I'm not trying to expose myself or whatever. But I do have one, 
two, three, four. I have four cards inside and then I have my Metro card. Um, I still have the cash inside. I have both keys inside and I feel like it's still not as bulky as my six key holder. And I don't think the six key holder would fit all these cards and my key fob and everything inside even if it does i might have like a hard time closing it i would show you guys but i just don't feel like taking things off and putting it back just because yeah i don't have time for that right now um but yeah um i mean obviously they serve the same purpose in the sense that you keep your keys inside and you can put two cards at least in it um i personally just put only two because i'm not trying to stretch it out too much um as far as wear and tear goes obviously this has more wear on it just because i've had this for longer um but i think we all know louis vuitton canvas like it's pretty durable um the only wear that's really really noticeable on this one is the chip right here at the bottom honestly it doesn't bother me that much when i use it it didn't bother me that much um now that i don't use it obviously i'm not really I don't care um, but you can take it to the Louis Vuitton store and have them clean and have them um, like replace it for you and then like I said before I'm not sure if it's gonna show but the part of the little rings um, that's attached to this clasp right here is kind of silver there's a little bit of silver on the plate as well um, but I mean who cares no one really sees the inside and then as far as this goes I feel like the gold hardware is still intact there's like a few scratches on it it's probably not going to pick up on camera just because I don't know um but yeah the gold hardware on this is still in pretty decent condition um there's a little bit of like discoloration on the zipper tab just because I guess I pull it um but yeah everything else is fine all in all i think i would recommend this over the six key holder i think i would recommend this over the six key holder just because this is less bulky and it takes up less space i just like how this looks better than how this looks but they're both great this is 265 plus tax and this is 215 plus tax um but I think you can get away with putting a lot more stuff in here. I know a lot of people who use this as a wallet. Um, so they just hang their keys on here. And then this is a wallet. Like they put cash, they put all their cards, and they put all that stuff inside. You can't really do that with this. Um, I guess it depends on how thick or how thin your key fob is. But I feel like majority of key fobs are not that skinny. Like key fobs are usually like... Um, chunky but yeah all in all i like this better um they're both great i would recommend i guess depending on your style depending on your preference and depending what you like i recommend both but i like this one better and um again i haven't even looked back i haven't picked this up since i started using this and i don't regret it at all um but yeah that pretty much does it for today's video that does it for today's comparison if i left anything out leave it in the comment section down below if you have any questions i'll try to answer them um but yeah i hope you found this video useful and um thank you guys what, what was that <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching um if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave comments in the comment section down below um subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on the notification bell as well just so you get notified when i upload videos and um yeah thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next one bye